talk about intersectionality and oppressor oppressed. Um, you know, uh, uh, Elon Musk, Elon Musk of all people, had this to say, and um, you know, maybe maybe he's catching on a little bit. But of course, Elon Musk is is exactly this. You know, one day he'll tweet a tweet and you go, yes, absolutely, finally, you're getting it. That's right. And then the next day he'll tweet something and they go, God, the guy's hopeless. But that's Musk, right? That's where we are. All right, this is what he tweeted. The axiomatic error undermining much of Western civilization is, quote, weak makes right. If someone accepts explicitly or implicitly that the oppressed are always the good guys, then the natural conclusion is that the strong are the bad guys. Um, absolutely right, Elon. Uh, I'm glad you, you, you've, you've seen this, you figured it out. Ayn Rand talked about this uh, 60 years ago and, and talked about it repeatedly in her essays over and over and over again about exactly this dynamic. This is fundamentally the dynamic from altruism. Uh, ben Baer wrote, absolutely, and, and, and completely right, he writes in response to Elon Musk, he says, I hope Elon's fans realize that it was Christianity, the meek shall inherit the earth, that laid down this dogma. Um, it's, uh, it, it is exactly this, right? Uh, and uh, uh, this is going to come from this dogma, it comes in a variety of different perspectives, but this is fundamentally a Christian dogma and has been around for 2,000 years. The new left has just embraced it with a passion uh, as the Christian dogma has been uh, secularized, has been secularized now uh, for the left usage. All right, so uh, welcome on board, uh, Elon Musk, on the anti-intersectionality uh, anti bandwagon.